To perform this work, you will first need to safely raise and support the front of the car along with remove the front wheel. If you need additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Begin by disconnecting the brake pad wear sensor from the harness, red arrow, and unclipping the wire from the holders on the strut, yellow arrow. Leave the brake line attached to the caliper and the hard line, but remove the rubber flexible line, yellow arrow, from the holder on the strut, red arrow. Use a 16mm socket and remove the bolt connecting the sway bar link to the lower control arm, red arrow. There is an 18mm nut, yellow arrow, and bolt, red arrow, that pinch the strut into the top of the housing. Use two wrenches or sockets and remove the nut and slide the bolt out of the housing. With the bolt removed, spray the area between the strut and the housing with some penetrating oil. Volkswagen makes a special tool for spreading the housing and removing the strut, but you can use a 3 8 and step down a bit or a 7 millimeter Allen to insert in the lower part of the housing and turn it to spread it open, yellow arrow. With the car safely supported, push the suspension down until the strut, red arrow, releases from the housing, yellow arrow. Move to the engine compartment and remove the cap, red arrow, from the top of the shock tower by pulling it straight up. There is a 21mm nut, yellow arrow, at the top of the strut piston. The strut piston has a 7mm Allen opening in the top of it, red arrow. Removing this can be a challenge without the proper tools. Most people think you need an impact wrench, but it can easily be removed with simple hand tools. If you have a 1316 spark plug socket with a squared off end, simply place the spark plug socket, red arrow, down over the 21 millimeter nut. 1316 and 21 millimeter are the same size. Next, use an adjustable wrench, or if you have a wrench that fits the squared end of the socket, yellow arrow. This will allow you to insert your 7mm Allen wrench down into the opening of the socket and hold the strut piston steady while turning the wrench to loosen the 21mm nut. As the strut loosens, be prepared as the nut is the only thing holding the strut assembly in place. Once you remove it, the strut will fall out of the car. Take the strut assembly to your bench and install the spring compressors. Use a good quality spring compressor and install them 180 degrees from each other to help evenly spread the load. The springs are under a lot of pressure, so make sure the compressors are installed correctly. Evenly tighten down both sides until the spring is compressed enough to move freely in the strut. The base of the strut has a special place in the perch the spring needs to sit in, red arrow. Take note of this before removing and make sure to place it back in the same spot when reinstalling. The top of the strut is a suspension mounting bushing, green arrow, and another 21 millimeter nut. Use the same procedure from before and remove the nut. Remove the suspension mounting bushing, red arrow, spacer, yellow arrow, bearing, green arrow, and spring seat, blue arrow. Check all these for wear and tear and cracking and replace any component that is worn. Remove the compressed spring, red arrow, from the strut, yellow arrow. Remove the dust shield boot, red arrow, clip, green arrow, and bump stop, yellow arrow. If you are using factory replacement struts, you will need to check these components for damage and if needed, replace them. If not, transfer them to the new strut. Installation is the reverse of removal and do not forget to replace the hardware with new single use nuts and bolts. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.